The panel on of the five reacts this benchmark survey of the Virginia governor's race shows it is still up for grabs. That four percentage point edge is within the survey's margin of sampling error and both candidates are below 50% support. In addition, while both McAuliffe and Youngkin backers have a high degree of vote certainty, one in five voters say they may change their mind before casting their ballot. Overall, three quarters are extremely or very interested in the election. Among just those interested voters, McAuliffe is up by two points. The survey, released Thursday, was conducted September 26 through September 29 among Virginia registered voters. The second and last scheduled debate of the campaign was September 28. McAuliffe is the preferred candidate among black voters, moderates, women, and parents, Youngkin is the choice among independents, white voters, and men. He's also ahead among the small subgroup that has a negative opinion of both President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. The Republican leads by 10 points among economy voters. While the Democrat leads by 50 among those who say the pandemic is the most important issue to their vote. The economy is the top issue to Virginia voters, followed by the coronavirus pandemic, health care, taxes, and abortion, crime, and education. On their personal financial situation, by a nine-point margin, more Virginians report they are falling behind than getting ahead with a 54% majority holding steady. Majorities favor COVID vaccine requirements for teachers and employees with more than 100 employees. A larger number, 71%, favor mask requirements for teachers and students. There's no real difference between parents and non-parents on these COVID mandates, although moms are more likely than dads to want teachers and students to wear masks by 11 points. McAuliffe favors vaccine mandates for teachers while Youngkin opposes requiring the shot. Democrats at least twice as likely as Republicans to favor requiring teachers be vaccinated, teachers' students wear masks, and vaccines at companies with 100 plus workers. The candidates spar over critical race theory, with Youngkin vowing to ban the teaching of it and McAuliffe saying it isn't being taught in Virginia schools. While 27% of voters favor teaching CRT in public schools, a larger 39% oppose it and 32% haven't heard enough to say. The largest share of Democrats favor it compared to a majority of Republicans opposing it, while opinions are consistent among parents and non-parents alike. Those hopes depend on which issues are at the forefront. If voters are thinking about the economy, taxes, and critical race theory, the data here suggest young Ken might pull this off. If they are thinking about the virus and health care, McAuliffe cruises. Former business executive Young Kin is a newcomer to politics, while McAuliffe served as the state's governor from 2014 to 2018. McAuliffe garners a net plus 7 favorable rating, 48% view him favorably versus 41% unfavorably. For Young Kin, it's 44% favorable versus 42% unfavorable. That gives him a net plus 2 points. View split on Virginia's current governor, Democrat Ralph Northam, 45% favorable to 46% unfavorable. Trump endorsed Youngkin and Biden endorsed McAuliffe. Will those endorsements help? Voters divide 49 to 49 percent on Biden's favorability, while Trump is underwater by 16 points. In addition, more Democrats view Biden favorably than Republicans do Trump. At the same time, while President Biden won Virginia by 10 points in 2020, voters now approve of the job he's doing by just one point, 50 approve versus 49 disapprove. As an off-year election in a sometimes purple state, the Virginia gubernatorial is often seen as an early indicator of where voters are headed after a presidential, says Anderson. And these poll results suggest Republicans might be more competitive in some places when Donald Trump is not on the ballot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.